Hi everyone, my name is Andre Sestrepo from PH Data, and today I'll be showing you how to create a drill down control using Sigma Computing. So, to get started, let's talk about what a drill down is. So, a drill down is a sort of hierarchy that allows us to see data from a very high macro level, like an overall look of our data, but then it allows us to click with a click of a mouse, we can drill down into more detail of our data, uh, giving us more information at a more granular level. So I'll show you a great example here that we have set up for today's exercise. Uh, let me just move my face very quickly so we have a little more space to work. Um, but just to give you an example, what we'll be doing is that as you can see here, we have several columns. We have MLB league, division, team, and then revenue, which is the data we'll be analyzing. So under MLB League, we have two leagues, American League and National League over here. Under division, we have three divisions, uh, which fall under each league. And then under the divisions, we have teams. Uh, so there's several teams that belong to divisions. So we'll be jumping from league to division to team. So drill down allows you, uh, if you want to do, create your own drill down, uh, you can drill down one level, two level, three levels, uh, depending on what data you have available, um, you can drill down as much as you'd like. So the, the idea is to analyze revenue at league level, division level, and team level in this example. So just in case you're new to Sigma Computing, what I'll be doing is that I'll be showing you how to add a table uh, such as the one we have here. So we'll click the add element plus sign over here uh, on the top left, then we'll click table and in this example, we got the information from the new tab and then tables and data sets. Snowflake offers us some, a great database uh, with different examples that we can use to practice our new skills here in Sigma Computing. For this example, we use the MLB Stadium Sales. But just for the purpose of what we are doing, uh, we have the table already preloaded, so we can uh, skip that step. And as we have our table selected, we will jump over here on the top right to create a child element. Then move into visualization, which will then bring in a kind of like a new window to our workspace that is, has the purpose of creating the visualization. And the default is a bar chart, which works great for example. So what we'll do is that we'll drag league into the X axis and we will drag revenue into the Y axis. And voila, we have our brand new revenue table uh, that shows revenue by league. Uh, we will now need to jump into the drill down portion. So as we have our visualization selected, we can jump over here to the plus sign, add element. And you see there's several options here. And under control elements, we have the drill down option that we are looking for. So let's click that. And as you can see, we have a new section here that, uh, that appeared. So we'll be setting the drill down through here and the settings come up right here. So as on the top, on the, on the left, uh, far left side. So as you can see, the drill down is a sort of filter and under settings, uh, what we're gonna do is select the table that we began the exercise with that we had uh, loaded into our workspace. So we'll select that. And then as you can see over here, the drill down area is, does it, it's not populated by anything. But as we start adding our drill, drill categories, you'll see these categories uh, start to show up. So league, we'll add league there. So as you can see, it started showing up. Division, which is our next level down. And then team, which is the third level down. So as you can see, all of these populate here. So as you can see, it has uh, just shows new control. It's a great idea to name any, um, any new element or control that you add so that uh, you can recognize what the purpose of it is. So for this one, we will name it MLB drill down. And we'll click off. And as you can see, the title populates. So now we have league, division, and team. But if we click these buttons, they are not yet activated. So that's what we're going to jump into now. So let's move on to the next tab over here on the, uh, as we add the targets. 
and we'll click add target. And as you can uh, since we have, we are creating the drill down based on the visualization that we brought in. That is the option that it gives us. And many times it'll be pre kind of like the, the columns that you're trying to target. Uh, because of what we did here in settings, uh, the drill categories that we brought in. So just in case they're not, make sure that uh, you populated with the correct one. Make sure that MLB League matches MLB League in the dropdown, MLB Division, and then MLB Team. So we should be all set. Now that we did that, we have League selected. But if we select Division, here we see more detail on Division. And if we click Teams, now we can see the detail for Teams. So that is the portion of the drill down that is the most important. Your drill down is already set up. Just uh, for more, um, something that I like to do here, here's a little just bonus. Uh, we can just click back into our visualization. And for example, we can click MLB division and throw it into color. And here we can see what divisions make up each league. Uh, you can see the details here, uh, as you can see with our legend. Uh, it shows which is which. As we jump into the division, you can see how much each division represents. And then as we jump into team, we can see which teams belong to which divisions. So that is all I have for you today for drill down controls. I thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, there's plenty of more content like this on our PH Data blog and also on our YouTube channel. Have a good day.